Hey guys, it's Kevin again. Today we're going to work on this uh, Epson Workforce WF3720. We're going to fix this error that our printer's ink pad is at the end of its service life. Pardon the uh, grammar. You know the grammar is never a forte for the Epson. And excuse the mess here. I totally run out of the room. So please go to bchtechnologies.com and just buy like crazy, buy everything, buy like double, triple, so I can have more room to make more videos. Okay, let's roll. There are two parts. The first part is to get rid of that nasty error window. So for that, you need to go go to inkchip.net. It's .net, not .com. Okay. And uh, you go click WIC, which stands for Waste Ink Counter. So you need to set that counter back to zero. And uh, each set is $9.99. So I normally I buy three or three of those for like a $6.99. It's cheaper uh, because I got so many printers I have to reset. Anyway, so first thing to do, check your model. Make sure your model is covered. Here, Workforce Series WF3720. Okay, that's good. So after you check the models, just click this Buy button. Uh, scroll down and uh, WIC and uh, select a three or five. Let's see how much diff is five. Five is two ninety nine. Okay, I know we got three, uh, but the five is even cheaper. I'll do five. You usually get a key instantly in your ma uh, mailbox after you paid, but uh, uh, if you get a delay, make sure you check the uh, the spam folder. I never have 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 my key delayed, so it always showed up. And the uh, next thing is you go download, uh, go back to this uh, WIC page, go click English, and uh, that will download uh, the file. You can see the file showed up in my download folder, and just double click and uh, open it. See the Windows product in your PC, and, uh, and it prevent from an unrecognized app from running, and uh, click more, more info and I click run anyway and ask you do you want to install and say yes and uh, install it I'll put a whole bunch of icons on your desktop and uh, each one with an English version name uh, it's pretty funny you click English it's supposed to just give you English but they gave you a whole bunch of them and uh, just click the English for example if you click Russian it will be in Russian I'll do English and uh, first thing you want to do is uh, do a uh, waste uh, counter. See, the no printer were found. That this is because I haven't plugged in my printer into my computer through USB port. You have to use a USB cable to do it. You cannot do the wireless. Okay, now we plug the printer in, and uh, so there it is, 3720. And the first thing we do is we read the with 10 counters. And uh, this must be okay. Uh, it's a 13.76. Uh, I'm just using this as example to show you how to reset it. So yours, if you get error, you're probably going to be like a 99% or like a 100%. And now you can click the reset encounter, and uh, you can paste the key that you uh, you bought. It's really long string, so just click OK. And then sit down. Please restart the printer. So now uh, just uh, turn the print off and turn it back on. Okay, now the printer is restarted. Let's read the ink counter. See, it's back to zero. So that error is gone. Okay, the second step, we're going to install a physical waste tank. So the ink will not flow into the waste pad. So you don't have a waste pad full of ink. And uh, there are many ways you can do it. Uh, let me just show you one way and that uh, I usually use. I'll, I'll get an external kit from uh, bchtechnologies.com. Go to accessories and go to waste tank. Not this waste tank. That waste tank is f is for the resetter. Is waste tank resetter. We go to the waste tank. That's uh, bold. And today I'm going to use the 25 millimeter uh, waste tank. You can also use a 40 millimeter. It's the same thing. Uh, 40 millimeter is on sale right now. Um, it's just the 40 is a little bit bigger. Uh, I like a 25 better. Uh, there's nothing more magical about this uh, waste tank. The only thing it has is it has a, a jar. Uh, you can use uh, 
just any kind of uh, kitchen jar will work. And uh, you have a connector that uh, connect to your uh, uh, original Epson tube to an external tube that you use. And that tube going to carry the ink down into the jar. And you might want a piece of Velcro to stabilize your tank. Again, you don't have to buy from, uh, from me. Uh, you can just use whatever you, ha you already have. In the back of the printer, you're going to see a, a black uh, screw. Just unscrew it, and then you see another screw inside. And unscrew that one, and then you can take the waste pad out. Look inside, you're going to see the black tube. That's where the ink comes out. This dual connector has a smaller uh, beginning, which is can connect to 25 uh, millimeters. And uh, then it has a larger, which you can connect to 35. Uh, 25 is Epson's tube, so we connect to 25 to 25. Our idea is to put the uh, waste tank outside so we can see how much ink in the tank and then we can dump things out when we need it. So we're going to cut the tube to length and uh, then uh, stabilize the bottle with uh, Velcro. Also, there is more than one way to skin a cat. I don't know why you want to skin a cat. Um, if you just want to put a bottle inside the printer, this bottle fits perfectly right inside. You don't have to extend the tube. You can just put it inside and uh, make sure that the inner tube falls in, in, into, the, uh, into the bottle. And then actually you can close the printer. But your problem is you have a, uh, you have open bottle inside the printer. You don't want to tip it over. And also you don't know how much ink in there. You, you make an overflow. Anyway, I like to put it outside so I can monitor everything. Now I'm going to turn the printer on and uh, do some head cleaning and uh, we can try it out our new toy. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, for my subscribers, I won't be able to make uh, any new videos uh, this month and next month for two months because I'm traveling. Uh, I bought this timeshare thing. I told you the timeshare is like uh, printers. It's totally a scam. But if you know how to play it, you're going to have lots and lots of uh, before I bought my timeshare, I spent a whole year studying it. You know, the timeshare salespeople, they are worse than the car salesman. Uh, she called the manager. The manager said, this is the best deal we can give you. <laughs> no, no, no. I said, uh, the best deal to me is you can do look me in the eye and I have to see uh, the tears sparkling in your eye. Eight hours later, uh, I left with the uh, manager crying like a baby. and. Uh, uh, however, the problem is I get this deal so good and uh, each year I have so many, so many travels I have to make. So I decided, oh, I'm just take two months off in the summer and uh, be home every couple weeks and just go travel. I said so many videos on YouTube, like uh, people just crying, just, oh, we get a scam by timeshare. I just wonder if I should uh, make a video of it and teach you guys how to how to negotiate or how to get the best deal or and maybe not this is like a printer <laughs> printer channel okay i may make another channel and this is something okay guys see you when i get home cheers